to get away from the shadow Pokemon, take control of the shadows. I love you, Michael, but for the wrong close friend. For, but you are wrong, close friend. Um, we recently met. You see, I do not yet have the machine working, but it's so close. Ah, I can just feel it. What's the missing piece? Yes, God. Yes. Oh God. Yes. Uh, Michael said you were the perfect person to meet. Uh, the missing piece, it's you. Uh, I'm not stepping into that machine. Yo, what's going on everyone? It's CustomArx35 here. Welcome back to another episode of Pokey Find Adventures. Welcome to Season 2. If you have not caught up with the series, make sure you go check out all the other episodes. And today, we are going to finish off the EV training we have on our Blissey. As last time, we finished up our EV training on Tyrantar pretty much. And he is all set now. So everyone on our team, except for Domfan, because we don't know if we're going to keep him or not. But we should. So far, he's the best one we found. And we don't have anyone to replace him directly. Blissey is very close to due to my off-screen grinding. We are up to 221 out of 252. I will make it to 251 on our special defense IV, uh, EVs. Um, and then we'll be completely maxed. She's already got full HP. So, and in the meantime, I was able to buy me, if I get move my mouse, a power band. So it increases special IV defense, uh, just like the power anklet and bracelet do for those stats. So we just make it a lot, lot easier for us to go ahead and do this. Now, even though there's not a lot of things for us to go ahead and use the um, attack, I mean, the special defense for, like the Ledians actually give us Ledian IV, since we're full on HP uh, EVs, it's okay. It won't give us the HP EV from uh, attacking these Pokemon. Um, but it will still give us the four EV yields from the bracelet So we still get our EVs without conflicting and having to buy babies to reset it. So it's a good way around it um, In Pixelmon you can use it with the EXP share to make it even easier by doing a fully trained Mon already doing that as well um, so it's EXP share having the, the, the Bracelet on and passing it down, but it seems not to work in Pokefine, which is all good. This works just as easily, so there's no complaints there. So that was 221 before, and now we're already up at two, uh, 225. So this is going to be a breeze. And like over here, here's a hoot hoot, easy target for HP. And so are Venonats, and they spawn around here too. Um, and that's going to be our main goal for today. And then hopefully it doesn't take super duper long, and we can start our first quest. At least get uh, get it going and see what we can do about it. Um, we're gonna do the purification quest, so super stoked for that. We can finally get started on some quests. No, we don't have a full team, but we have most of our team set, ready just to be leveled up, um, and they have their EVs and IVs all set, so we don't have to worry about it there. Um, having four out of five or six members all good is all I need and then Don Pinch is kind of there now for our last Pokemon I was thinking Lantern Lantern second gen right Chin Chow if I do remember if I do remember correctly um, I thought that would be a really good because it would give us a main water type um, and it would give us an electric type so it's a dual typing that would be pretty good too um, to help cover both of our fields um, since we don't have any uh, like fire or grass on our team specifically Mm. Ooh, Skiploom. Skiploom is. Hold on, I have that list here. Is he on my special defense? No, top if that's on my special defense. Skiploom is speed. We don't want to skip bloom. Let's make sure we gotta watch out for that. Okay, so what else can we uh, EV train against in this area? Um, skip bloom. Ooh, there's a hoot hoot. Okay, the hoot hoot and go fairy. They're gonna be nearby each other ish. So are they this way? Oh yeah, they are. Perfect. Okay, let's go ahead and continue running this way. Here's the Clefairy. Easy peasy. Lemon squeezy. Now, where's that Hootoot? It's somewhere nearby. Okay, take down because it's only level 21. Is that where that Hootoot is? Is that right there? Oh, I did not want that in my offhand. Take that out of my offhand, please. And put that back in my inventory. And take down one more time. Easy peasy. Okay. So, that Hootoot is gone. Maybe we ran in the wrong direction for Hootoot. Or it just went off the radar. Let's see if we can find it again or anything that we can use. Caterpies would work. There's that hoot hoot again. It's 43 meters away. 45. 46 this way. Hopefully. I would think 40. That seems like the best case scenario. Okay. Hopefully we can get this done nice and quick. Because I want to start the purification quest. Okay. Where is this hoot hoot? Ooh. Tentacruels, those work too. Um, those are Gen 1 special defense. Okay. 
and let me get down here in the water that will work as well that will give us five special evs as well instead of just the regular four so that will be really good too bad it's a tinted cool not a tinted cruel that would have been a lot better okay boom and go ahead and use takedown toxic is going to work on him but he's still only level 21 so yeah we're going to one shot him easy peasy okay so where did that hoot hoot go it kind of just disappeared off our radar Ooh, learn light screen. A wondrous wall that puts up to reduce damage from physical attacks for five turns. Um, yeah, that's not really worth it. Um, because his physical defense is nothing. His defense is 25. His special defense is 169. Uh, that is not worth it at all. Blissey is a special defense tank, not a physical defense tank. So I don't think light screen would be worth having a move. I think having the two uh, different attacking moves with minimize and toxic is really good. The only thing I think I would do uh, with Blissey at the moment is maybe find a decent special move for it or uh, put refresh on it so I could refresh its status effects. That would be the only differences I think I could make to it. Um, but I don't know what special move we could even put on it so that's kind of where the problem comes in. Okay let's go ahead and heal up here. Finding our buddy who, who right here on top of the hill thought he could hide from me here But let's go ahead and battle you. We got a fully refreshed blissey here And he's gonna take you down with takedown. How symbolic is that? Do 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 down you go. Sorry. Okay now next target is Jigglypuff I'm assuming Jigglypuff's up the hill considering it's 26 meters away and a blocks a meter. That's a Venomoth That's a Diglett. Okay, I don't see this Jigglypuff is still 16, it's got closer, so it's got to be somewhere around here. Now it's 21, so maybe more this way. Up there, that's where it is. Come on, get up this mountain. Parkour. Parkour like an old school kid, like back in the day. I wonder if anyone knows that, because I know I sang that wrong, but that was an old school Minecraft thing. That's a Venomoth. Where is the Jigglypuff? Ooh, need and female too. Jeez, okay, those are all things that give HP, that's fine. We just need to actually be able to find them first. Okay, there are name tags up here. Let's go ahead and get up this mountain. Don't usually come up this far. It's, it's a long way to travel. Kakuna, Apom, I don't know what Kakuna is. Apom speed, but it's definitely not special defense. There's the neat arena. This gives us 2 HP, but we don't need it. It's just the fact that we can actually use it. Let's go ahead and toxic it. Will that work on neat arena? I don't think so. That missed somehow anyways. No, I don't want to use my bag. Let's go ahead and use takedown. Just need to go ahead and start damaging this thing. I know I didn't use minimize, but I'm not super worried about it at the moment. We're just EV training. Boom ba da boom boom. Oh yeah. Boom ba da boom. Oh yeah. I don't know what I was doing then. I was trying to think of a topic to talk about, but at the same time, I know what I can talk about. Um what is your guys' uh video game? That you're looking forward to coming out i think i've already asked that but it might have been a couple weeks back um that's gonna be the question today there's a lot of video games coming out uh currently i think i know what i'm super excited for is back for blood it won't really work for this channel but it's something i am excited to play it's a really uh, good recreation of the original left for tip do games um so that's gonna be nice and fun we are, I wish this near and we just finished. Is there anything else? Okay, we still have that Jigglypuff somewhere nearby, but I have no idea where we can find it. There's another Hoot Hoot right there, though, so that's all good. Fight and take down. I didn't need to use take down. I probably could have used Egg Bomb, easy peasy. But come on, come on, come on, come on. Let's go find. Um, oh, wait, I have minimized soft boiled takedown and toxic. Yeah, we just have takedown. Ugh. All right, there we go. Need arena fainted. Perfect. Okay, so the EVs should be skyrocketing. We are at 246 out of 252. Okay, so we can get four. We need five more, basically. Okay, so easy peasy. That's two more Pokemon, and then we can go ahead and get started on a purification quest. Okay, let's go ahead and use a takedown. Boom, it's only level seven, so as long as we hit it, there we go, and we can finish this hoo hoo off, and boom we're at 250 so one more pokemon i guess it really doesn't matter because we're not going to get that ev stat i don't think for 251 i think only up to 252 but i have the stats filled on him he's at 99.4 uh, percent i should uh, 507 out of 510 i have enough points i need to go ahead and find where another person is um 
who, 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 56 meters away, um, is gonna be back over here, 49 meters away, I think so, um, ooh, there's a Venonat as well, that would also work, 38 meters away, sometimes it's really weird to try to track these guys down, there's the Venonat at least, okay, let's go ahead and come up here and take this guy down, and this should be the last Pokemon we need to finish off Blissey's EV training, finally, Blissey was the absolute hardest one to EV train, uh, for HP and special defense it With Draco Valley being the best spawning but the spawns being so far apart and so much work to climb up to and everything It made spawn better spawning but Ledians and things like that didn't spawn very much for his special defense So it made it really difficult to do it overall boom and now we can check the EVs He's at 99%, uh, 99.8%, but his special defense is 252, so that is what matters. There we go. So now if we check out everyone, they're all at basically 100%, if not already, and they are fully complete where we need them to be. So that is perfect. Easy peasy. So next up is Purification Quest. Where do we need to go for this quest? Um, speak to Michael in Sunday Cities to start this quest. Okay, easy peasy. Let's go ahead and go to slash spawn. And we need to need a how what was that? We need a nice heal up before we go ahead and head out here. And then we can go ahead and teleport over there and speak to Michael and see what we can get done. Um ugh, I'm trying to think of what would be um another good Pokemon outside of Chin Chow or Darkhand to put on our team. And I, I'm not coming up with any good solutions because I know the Gen 2 Pokedex, but at the same time, it's not coming to my head what exactly would be decent choices. It really kind of put a hurt on us that our starter, uh, Turtle Dial, was a big uh, poop in the pants. No offense. Um, and for my childish language, too. Ha, ha, ha. But it's it, it's the fact that he just had a bad nature overall. And it, it really put a downpour on being able to use him. Um, or we would have at least five members of our team selected out easy. So... Yeah, it kind of sucks, but once again, you know, we can never always get something from an egg, you know, you never know, make sure to watch out for future episodes. Okay, so, wow, Purification Lab is literally a teleport, but that's not where we want, we want Sunday City, Sunday City, where are you, hello, Sunday City, where are you, oh, hey, hey, what? there we go, perfect, okay, so, oh, Michael's right here too, okay, let's see what you gotta say, boy. Hi, good, whatever, we caught up, okay? Uh, anyway, I learned something and I immediately thought of you. What is it? This is always fun. There may be a way to stop the evil of the shadows, okay? Without destroying it entirely, we could use it for good. That sounds dangerous. You know, you're right, it does sound dangerous. I know, I know, it sounds like I've been taken over by the shadows myself, but I'm not crazy. You're crazy if you think I'm crazy, sorry. The scientist has me all pumped up. Wait, slow down, what are we talking about? My dad's barber knows the guy who knows the scientist, right? I'm introduced because I have experience with Cypher and his shadows. And long story short, uh, the scientist of purification lab says he can. Uh, let's say what we need to talk, okay? Can I get a hint? The suspense is killing me. Uh, okay. Sounds, um, it's hard to keep up. He may or may not have discovered a way to have keep the shadow, keep the shadow powers without the downside. Uh, sounds too good to be true. I said the exact same thing. You know what the scientist said? He said all revolutionary science sounds good to be true. Uh, until it's true. Yeah, technically, but I guess so. Yeah, how did you know that? Uh, because the scientist of yours is Professor Oak. Wait, whoa, Professor Oak. We're having Oak. Back into this. Okay. Um, you two need to meet. Uh, and it's in the lab in Sunday Sound. Uh, I'll meet you there. Head over to Professor Bartsch's Purification Lab in Sunday City. Well, at least that's where we are, but where is it in Sunday City? I guess we just have to look for the right building. So let's continue our search. Um, okay, so where would be the best place to go? This looks like the Pokemart. Um, and that's exactly what this is. Okay, and then I'm assuming over there would probably be the Pokemon Center, considering that red outline there. So I'm guessing we need to head this way into town, and not this way. Um, that would be my best guess, considering there are more buildings this way, and those look more like the Pokemon Center and everything. And this building looks closed up. Yep, okay. Let's go ahead and continue around here. Let's see if we can find this building without too much trouble. I wonder where the Purification Lab is. And is this really make Shadow Pokemon better? It might make it worth having Shadow, even though I traded all my Shadows away. That's okay. Fine by me. Boom, 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 boom. Sunday City. 
Um, where is this purification lab? Is this a path out or a path up? This looks like to a battlefield that doesn't lead me anywhere I want to go. But, you know, no harm checking it out. And, yeah, it, this is the gym. This is kind of a disappointing gym, honestly. Okay, well, let's go ahead and come down over here and follow this road this way. Is any of these buildings the purification lab? It doesn't seem to be, so we're, maybe we do have to go back in the other direction. Or maybe I didn't go far enough into town. I'm not really, really sure. Okay, let's head back this way to do, do a quick double check to make sure we're not missing anything, and then we can head back in the other direction. Hmm. We could also double check those building down there, but I didn't think they would be it. I would assume it would have a regular door. Maybe this is it? Or is this the actual Pokemon Center? This is the actual Pokemon Center. Okay, so I was wrong about where the Pokemon Center was. That's okay, though. Let's go ahead and continue this way, then. Maybe there's more to the town than I'm thinking. No, this looks like the edge of the road. Fantastic. And that goes into Koga Valley. Or Koga Academy. Okay, so what's down here? That looks like a dock and everything. Maybe is this the lab? You know, big glass building? No, it's completely empty. Perfect. You know, okay. Let's go in this direction. Let's run across the beach and see what we can get while we get sandy sand in our toes and happy hop away to happiness. So is that really how it works? No, but... Oh my god, there's not a way up. Why do designers never feel to make a secondary way up from anything? Like, seriously. Like, I j how do I get up from here? Okay, well, I still can't get up. Well, that's always fun. Um, great, this is just fantastic. Is there a way I can get up over here if I don't fall? Maybe, if I don't fall, but I did. Wow, that's fantastic. This is just fun. Okay. Okay, everyone, so I finally found it. I missed it at the end of this very middle road between the three different layers. It literally has purification labs. So let's go ahead and come in here and see what we find. Um, I, okay, I was, like, looking for the stairs. I knew there were stairs in here. I saw different floors on the outside. Where are you, Professor? Professor? Oh, there's Professor Michael. Professor... Batra, Patrol, I am not trying to say it. I like to introduce you to Carson Rock 35. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No introduction needed. Uh, it's so incredibly wonderful and how beautiful to meet you. Mwah. Mwah. That sounds. Mwah. Mwah. I don't know how to say that. It's really weird. I forgot to mention this uh, experience. And for once, joy, joy, my joy. My experience is completely murked. What is with this guy? Michael says you figured out a way from the shadow Pokemon. Take control of the shadows. I love you, Michael, but for the wrong close friend. For, But you are wrong, close friend. Um, we recently met, you see, I do not yet have the machine working, but it's so close, ah, I can just feel it. What's the missing piece? Yes, God, yes, oh God, yes. Uh, Michael said you were the perfect person to meet. Uh, the missing piece, it's you. Uh, I'm not stepping into that machine. Ah, uh, ha, ha, funny, smart, and brave. Uh, no wonder they call you a hero, no, no. Uh, the missing piece is in your body, it's your skills. He wanted someone who could get more Shadow Pokemon without getting hurt. Uh, there is only one name, and that's yours. I need Shadow Pokemon to complete my data as they overcome by as many shadows as possible. Uh, where can I get one? Uh, a young man, a total and absolute sweetheart, visited me for some deep support with a sick Pokemon. But it wasn't sick, it was a shadow, and it was completely beyond his control. I was unable to help, and be honest, I'm sick over it. This was months ago. The shadows surely took even deeper hold by now, so be careful. Yes, be careful. Ah, it seemed to the heroism firsthand. This is getting exciting, isn't it? Exciting. Woo! What is this dialogue? It's so, like, weird. Yeah, so we'll be here when you get back. Find Jephtha at Sunday City Sport. Well, we know where the port is already. We've done been to that. So let's go ahead and go down there. And can I not take that shortcut? Really? That's so annoying. I just wanted to jump right down. Fine. I will go the proper way, but not the way you want me to. I'll jump over that little banister there. Now we just got to run down here to the port and find Jeff, Jeffer? Jeffer or Jeffer? Is that how you say it? PH? I'm not really sure. Um, here's the port on this side. The port's on this side. Yeah, there's right there. Okay, let's go ahead and come down here. Hi, Jigglypuff. Where are you? Because this is the port or... That looks like a regular trainer. It is. Oh, here we are. Stay back. 
There's a shadow Pokemon here below attack intruders without hesitation. That's okay. Tell it there's an intruder who wants to fight. Oh yeah, why is that? Professor Boucher sent me. We might have a way to cure your Pokemon. Uh, oh, so now he can help me out. Because before he just smiled in my face and told me he couldn't help. He's like that, but he means well. Oh yeah? Hey, I guess I'll have to take your word for it, don't I? You can trust me. You know what? I do trust you. That was really quick. It's the shadow Pokemon that I might need some convincing. Have you two met? Go, Absol. Okay, Absol. Ooh, this is a high level Absol. Okay, let's go ahead and go straight for a Minimize. See if we can get a miss on it. Um, because we weren't going to get Toxic out. And that did nothing for me. Super effective. I love it. Well, okay. Um. Let's go with Aerocross. I'm not really sure what we should send out here, but I'm trying to get Tyranitar to be our last mod. Um, um, I think we need to work on our speed here, but we're only level 37. I don't think anything we do is going to be worth it. Let's go with Megahorn. High, uh, powerful move. Stab if we get it off, but we won't. Yeah, okay. So this might be a lot higher level quest than I thought. Wow, this is really going to be painful because we're, this is the level 30 quest. And I should have expected this. This was like Gen 1, 2. Okay. Let's go ahead and... Psychic him. Nope, Shadow Break. He goes first on every single Mon so far. The only Mon we have left is Tyranitar. And Tyranitar definitely wasn't my fastest Mon. His speed's at 114, 184, yeah, 112, 38... Wow, that really, really sucks. So, okay, Tyranitar, here we go, bud. You're our last hope. Uh, uh, my only guess is that he just flat out won't one-shot you. So, we are a uh, rock dark type. So, Stone Edge, 80 accuracy. I don't know if I want to take that. Earthquake could just be good. Let's go with Stone Edge. We might as well. Shadow Break. I don't think we're going to survive it. Yeah, I didn't expect, though. He's level 85. Well, he's taken half, almost full health just from that alone. Um, so that's really interesting. Cause we've not done any damage on him, but his reverse mode has hurt him that much. Um, roll out, I guess. Shadow break, yeah. This is really... S oh, well, we started because of our sturdy. So we survived it, but we're not going to do any... Wow, we actually almost killed him. Shadow break, he's going to finish it off. But he's going to finish it off from reverse mode, too. Does that not count? That's kind of sucky. Okay, so we need to train up our Pokemon severely. Okay, so it's gonna be a severe training. Okay, that's gonna be fun. Okay, let's come. We're gonna come back to spawn here, and what's the best way for us to do some training? Hmm. We could just go around. Well, I I have double XP still, but at the same time, we need high level pokes. We we could get naturally high level pokes from gen 1 it would be easier um hmm because we know the trainer route for gen 1 but i wanted to stick to gen 2 gen 2 is for gen 2 hi milk tank you're kind of cool i've not really seen you spawn yet before um very interesting i'm gonna capture you just in case you're a good you know, milk tanks are quite beefy and i know we've got a lot of tanks on our team sort of already tyranitar and blissey but at the same time, you know, you never know when you might need them. Come on, get in this Ultra Ball. Come on, bud. Come on. I know you want to stay in there. Just stay in the Ultra Ball. Just stay in there. Come on. Come on. I know you want to get in this Ultra Ball. Join the team. Come on, bud. I know you want to. We're going to be good friends. We can go out and play. I'll feed you. You know, we can battle people. Have gyms. You know, earn badges. Y'all have other Pokemon to play with? I really don't think he wants to join the team, guys. I don't think he wants a part of the team. Yeah, okay. I'm done messing with them. Okay, let's go ahead and continue here. So, we don't know the Gen 2 trainers at all. We don't know where they're placed. Um, like, we know some of them, but we don't really know. Like, here's a level 40. We know there's a level 15 down there. I think there's a level 55 over there, but... You know, I don't really know the trainers, but... Mm. We could go for it. Who do we want to level up? Hmm. I kind of want to go with Heracross. Heracross is going to be a deadly weapon. Heracross 
and Tyranitar. So I'm going to put the... Oh, wait. What do you have on you, Heracross? You have a Razor Shine. Okay, we're going to put the EXP on you. I'm going to split EXP. Um, yeah, but there's no one here, you know. I really don't want to be the only one. Yeah, okay. We're going to go to Slash Lobby. We're going to Gen 1. For, e for experience training, I think it's best to do it in Gen 1. We know the, uh, uh, the patterns better. Um, so, this is just going to be the absolute best way to do it. So, let's go ahead and actually we're going to wait one second here when you get through these Pokestops. Um, okay, who's all online? Okay, interesting. So, let's go ahead and continue to this Pokestop here. Now, um, bum, 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 I'll probably end up speeding up this last little bit here all for you guys. So it's going to be a uh, speed training uh, for you guys um, because we are coming close to the end of the episode. Oh, that's such a, oh yeah, activate. Pidgeot's just good XP. Let's go ahead and continue this and boom, a Thunder Fang. Easy peasy. We should still get EXP on these guys. We always have. I don't think anyone got EXP from that. That's really disappointing. Huh. Because they got EXP before. Why wouldn't they be getting EXP now? That's my real question. Okay. Quick attack. Let's double check to see if... Oh, that did no damage. Maybe... I might have just wasted an EXP boost. Okay, let's go ahead and use Psychic. I really want to see if we get EXP here. Here, Come on, give us some experience. Okay, so yeah, Espeon got experience there. So why didn't um, Tyranitar? Let's go ahead and send in Tyranitar here and figure this out. Okay, maybe because Tyranitar is a traded mod. You know, he started off at a higher level. Oh, maybe because we're not technically able to use Tyranitar yet and Gen 2. I mean, sometimes we can and sometimes we can't. It's kind of dependent on the situation. Let's see if we get experience here. Espeon got experience. Okay, but not Tyranitar. That's okay. So let's go ahead and go back out to Espeon. That's okay. So we just can't train Tyranitar. No big deal. Okay, so we can just go ahead and do that on Gen 2, and so he'll just get his own trainers. Easy peasy. So he won't get experience shared, so it's no big deal. Okay, let's go ahead and use a psychic attack on this guy. And just cue the speed up in 3, 2, 1, music. Hey, what's up everyone? It's Future Carson here. While editing this video, I just want to come in here and thank you guys so much for the support on the videos lately. Thank you for watching. And if you guys have enjoyed, make sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe if you do. You can always change your mind. It is free. And any of the comments you guys post in any videos at all, I'll always write off in my Pokefine podcast that come out every single Wednesday. And to make sure to check them out because not only do I read your guys' comments and talk about anything you guys want to talk about, but we also go over any updates you guys might miss if you don't follow my twitter carson underscore rock 35 in the description below for any updates about the channel regarding series live streams anyways that's all i had to say for you guys today i hope you guys enjoyed this video and enjoyed this speed up we went to gen 1 to get a lot more experience and i think it really worked out for a couple of my mods anyways hope you guys all did enjoy today's day apparently i can't talk at all too much recording guys i'll see you all later peace peace